All right, everyone, welcome to episode three of the Virtual GM. It's Spencer. I'm Cody. I'm Kyle. And we have our previous intern, Kyle. Ex, ex intern. <laughs> Not intern anymore. No, we have our social media coordinator, Kyle. Uh, you can see more of him at thevibrantteam.com. And we're really excited because today we're going to be talking about social media and the role that it plays inside of brands and growing your hotel, too. And uh, again, all of this stems from that Growing With Video conference that we went to. but ever since we've gone to that conference and we've cranked out, how many views do you think we've gotten on just the content that we've put now? Too put many. Out, put, put out. Probably too many. <laughs> I would say, a few I would say many. roughly too many. Yeah. A few too many views. Okay. Just, yeah. just a day alone. But like a real day guess. we hit... 13 plus on ours. We had well, we one, had one no, yeah, so we were like 15 or plus. Oh, yeah, so we're like over 25,000 views today. To see the video? Oh, yeah, I guess because... Yeah, there's any it's, it's, been a, yeah. it's been a good day for Vibrant. To see the video we're talking about, go to Instagram and go to the Vibrant team. And uh, there's this really cool video that Kyle took in the Zion Canyon on his e-bike. Or on e-bikes from Greater, Vine, or, geez, <laughs> Greater, Zion. Greater Zion e-bikes. Yeah. And it's absolutely amazing. And that climbed to 13,000 views in how many hours? Uh, like two. Yeah, I mean, it was absolutely Instagram's crazy. fickle. I'll say that much. Yeah, that's been your That's what we can talk about for sure. Yeah, so. And then there was another video that was of uh, people jumping in the river, right? Oh yeah. In the backflip? Out of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. That one's fun. Hey, you guys should run that one up. Yeah, that one's been really cool. Yeah. But we went to the growth video and you know, as a client service company, making content for ourselves, something that we never really did until how long? Yeah, we kind of forgot about everybody else. Or we, we forgot, forgot about ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that we were taking care of everybody else. We right. ourselves. Well, and even our own social media game, just in general, even for our clients, is elevated so much higher than it was a year ago. Oh, oh man. Right. Um, I, think, I think Vibrant has the least amount of followers out of all our clients. Well, and even just even yeah. for what we did for our clients, I mean, when you look back to a year ago, what we're doing now, my confidence in our ability to produce content for clients now versus a year ago, how far we've grown, it, it's amazing. We, Ali and I were just laughing today. We were So we were gonna originally film this episode at one of our properties in Mesquite. Mm -hmm. It was like 115 degrees, so it was a little bit warm to do it outside. It was just like, yeah, it was, it was like if they it wanted me, we would've done it, I think. They wanted me to just sit outside and film a podcast. And so, I said I wasn't gonna do that. It was burning. Yeah. We went there today with the whole team, or a big portion of the team, to just produce content um, and so we thought it'd be a perfect segue to just kind of talk about content today and the role that it plays. But I think what's important is, especially because this is one episode after Emery went, and Emery's our intern, and she is following the same path that you set a year ago. Yeah, and yeah. so we got her perspective last week, so I think it'd be cool to hear, hear from you, and you know, what led you to hospitality, um, what led you to Vibrant, and what have your takeaways been? both from school and from Vibrant. So you can answer that in any order you want. That's good. Um, but I think those would be good things for the audience to get from you. Yeah, I got you. So from, we'll just run it from the start of when I got into hospitality. Yeah, so yeah, that's great. great. Um, so my girlfriend's dad, his name is Scott Beck. If you know that name, then you're probably pretty cool. Um, if you're in Utah, you know that name. If you're in Utah, you know that name. So I was skiing with him up at Solitude. And I said, Scott, why do you do this? What do you, why do you do what you do? I was going through school. Did you just meet him skiing? Or like no, no. I, Liv and I started dating my sophomore okay. and freshman gotcha. um, at SUU. Shout out to Southern Utah University. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm up skiing with Scott. And I, at this point, I have no clue what I'm doing. I was originally in communications. I was originally an outdoor rec major. Then I was communications. That makes sense for you, outdoor rec. Yeah, yeah. I, was say, that's I mean, a perfect I ski, major. I bike, I, you know. Yeah. Used to climb a lot, a little bit of everything. Follow Airtime Aldridge on Instagram. Yeah, you can just go ahead and hit the Instagram. It's yeah, right. Um, so I, I didn't know what I was going to do. School wasn't, school's never been my thing. It still isn't. Um, anyway, so I'm talking with Scott, and Scott goes, well, like, this is what I do. I get to travel. I get to tell people about the place I live and love, and I get to have fun. And I was like, damn, that sounds really good. <laughs> Not a bad gig. Not a bad gig at all. So, anyways, I come back from that trip. I think it's probably over Christmas break. Come back from that trip, um, go to my boss. I currently work at uh, SU Outdoors, which is our school's outdoor entity. So, like, they rent, like, the yeah, we rent. canoes and stuff like that? Yeah, we rent. Uh, what year of school is this for you? 
suck. Right? Like that. So we rent inflatables and we rent so on and so forth. Right. Scott tells me I should be a communications major, so I start doing that. And a, and a full in, you know, my, my aim is hospitality, so I'm going to get a hospitality minor and a communications major. Because um, communications is pretty broad. You can do it it's a pretty spectrum. broad spectrum, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, you're going to dive a little bit into marketing, you're going to dive a little bit into PR, graphic design. Yeah, you know. kind of a little bit of everything, right. which is not a bad major to it's have. It's a healthy mix for sure. Yeah. That's what I studied when I went to BYU. I was a communications major. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Scott, I'm just going to even drop him one more time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Scott says, yeah, be a communications major. I don't hire anybody who's not a communications major because they're doing a lot of. You know, ad work, SEO, like a bunch of stuff like that. Right. And just real quick so people understand, so Scott Beck at the time was running Visit Salt Lake, which is the yeah. DMO for Salt Lake, a yeah. huge organization uh, with, with a lot of people under under his direction. Yeah. Um, so under his guidance, I start going to hospitality or to communications with a hospitality minor. I like my hospitality classes way more than my communications classes. So I, I just ended up flipping my majors, or my ma major and minor. So you switched to hospitality major, community Yeah, so, minor. and yeah. What does that even mean? It was pretty much, also the other thing, a minor is basically like exists. you took almost enough classes to have a major. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so the, the thing was that I liked my hospitality classes enough that I was taking too many of them to be. Oh, so you're messing up oh, your comms thing. Yeah, so I was yeah. a comms major, but I had more hospitality credits. Hospita I was going to get yeah. my minor way before my major, so I just flipped them. Because nice. it's going to take me longer to get out of school. Yeah. So, and I'm already, you know, I'm in it. Um, yeah, so Scott, I, I ended up flipping my major and my minor. And I got one semester left. I'm really excited. And being in hospitality class is what led me to Vibrant. Um, what, in March last year? April last year? Yeah, so SU came on the Hospitality Guild tour. Oh, so yeah. that was, that would have been 2021, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 2021. Yeah, the pandemic hit, didn't yep. really do much. And then, yeah, that was like the first. So did you go to the Tourism Summit that we did in Cedar that year in 2020? Oh no, that would have been 2019 that we would have done that. So did you go to that? Did you participate in that at all? I did because my mentor, AJ, who is one of your guys' good friends. Yeah. Or our friends. Did we shout out her on the last podcast? Yeah, shout out AJ yeah. again. Yeah, Love seriously. Uh, who's been my mentor through all of this, right? So when I was like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And I went and sat down and had coffee with AJ. And she led me in the right way as far as, far as hey, switch your major to hospitality. <laughs> That's awesome. So you did go to that? Uh, I went to the one at SU. You did, okay. Yeah, so I went to that in the big Hogwarts Hall. Yeah. Um, and what did you think of that at the time? Like, because you didn't know us, you weren't engaged. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, if I remember, she was giving me extra credit to be there. So AJ, again, shout out. Uh, AJ gave me extra credit to go because I was not a great student. Um, so she gave me extra credit to go to that. And I went to it and I loved it. Like I thought it was super rad. It was cool watching Southern Utah come together. Do you know, did you go on day one or day two? Uh, when, the, when was the speed painter there? Day two. Day two. I was there for day two. Cool. So you got to see Chad Porter. Yep. Uh, Chad was... He's the guy who lost his leg in yeah. his ski boat accident. Huh? Oh wow. yeah, as a kid, I forgot about yeah, that. He's amazing. Oh, you guys should look him up, he's rad. Um, and if you want to know more about what we're talking about, it's uh, we are so Utah.com is Southern Utah Tourism Summit, something that we put together and ran for for a, three years, and then it got to the point that it was starting to cannibalize some of the Utah Tourism office efforts, and so at their request, we uh, we stopped doing it. Just a little bit. Yeah, right. I don't know if legally I'm allowed to say that, but. No one's listening. <laughs> <laughs> one day this is going to spin up. Yeah, one day this yeah. is going to show up. We're going to get in trouble. Yeah. But that's okay. Damn it, Viper. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you went to that. So you kind of got like your toes in the sand, like a little bit in the, in the water with us. Yeah, so I checked, to you. yeah, I checked it out. I, I met, I think I met Breck. Did you think anything at that time? Like, oh, these, the, like this group no. is cool. No. No, I was just like, mm, you know, another group. That's funny. I, met, you I always, remember Joss. I remember Joss's hair. You yeah. always think you're cooler than you are, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know, I, I just think maybe like Kyle probably was also like just in the world of like, wow, this is like a really big thing, you know, so. But, but like, that's a lot bigger than now that I know what it was. Yeah, but by was huge. Just, it was the most, I mean, it, it was huge. It was the most people ever in that hall. With it was huge, how many of you put it together? Oh, just our little team. It was probably yeah. overwhelming, yeah. right? Like you're stepping into hospitality. Yeah, this is, first, this is my first, this is my first. So everyone's probably like, 
I mean, even for me, like stepping into hospitality six months ago, like even like sometimes yeah. like, for you four years, like there are probably your times where it's like, oh wow, like there, there, there are Scott around. Becks out there, right? For sure, yeah. yeah. So absolute legends yeah. of the game. Okay, so you went to that, you then you came to our hospitality guild. Yeah. And what was unique about Kyle that I can say is that he was the most willing to like to like be vocal and engaged and to say I remember we were going around the room and I think Breck asked like what does everyone in the room want to do? And you said, I want to do what you guys are doing. And then you came up to us and you're like, hey, look, I want to. And at this time, we'd never done it before, so it's not like we even knew we were going to have yeah. an intern from it. Like yeah, We were right. just doing it really for AJ. Mm -hmm. And then you came up to us after at the dwellings, right? I, I want to I wanna do yeah, this. Yeah, actually. Well, well I remember so hearing you guys talk about what you were doing, right? Like, to, to preface this, today, yesterday, I went to Springdale, which is the gateway design for those of you who don't know. Fun trip. Yeah. yeah, I went to Springdale. I met up with Spencer and Leah, who I'm sure you guys will She'll be on another yeah, episode. She'll be she's our director, director of marketing. Yeah, she does yeah our director of marketing. So we work. Yeah. I went to Springdale with uh, Spencer and Leah, and I, I run our social media. So I ran around and did content for all of our properties in Springdale, which I think right now is like six. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a ton yeah. up there. Let's yeah. count them really quick. So you've got Bungalows of Zion. They're about to be live August 10th. Well, you guys, everybody Flip go Rose. check out Bungalows. Greater Zion e bikes. Greater Watchman Villas. Flip Rose. Flanagan's. Five Pedals. Cliff Rose and Hummingbird Villas, and we have, we have seven. Seven clients. in Springdale. So I ran around and hit all our properties, um, each of which is just incredible and totally unique and different from the other. Um, so for me, like, I, I'm extremely ADD and love variety. So for me to be able to go somewhere, go to one spot and then do seven different things, yeah. it's super fun. And then that evening, so I, I went out and rode e-bikes all night. Yeah. Which you're a biker. Like I love, yeah, I love bike. biking. E-bikes are cheating, but it's still super but it's fun. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to go on record and you say talk about that. e-bikes are cheating. Um, <laughs> but you should talk about riding up the canyon because I don't think that's something that people even know. That no. It, not as a, like a tangent look, or anything, if you, but it's cool. If you show up to Zion and you've missed a shuttle by one minute, how long do you think you are to the next one? Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you're, you're, uh, it depends if you're, in, if you're in the park. In the town of Springdale, you got you're 20 minutes for the next one. Okay, then so you got to get to the park. Spring. Then you got to get in the line for that in the park. park to get under yeah. the Zion shuttle. Yeah. So I went, I've done the shuttle route, and I think it took us a total, and it was a busy, it was holiday weekend, it was busy, yeah. crazy. Right. I think it was just post COVID. Um, and. It probably took us a good like two hours with my girlfriend's family. It probably took us like a good two hours to get up to um, the Narrows. Yeah, oh, which wow. was a blast. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's for people who don't know, that's the very end of the canyon. The River Walk Trail starts at the very last stop. Yep. Right. Um, last night we got up to the Narrows in like 25, 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. And we stopped and jumped in the river. And, and that's almost the same amount of time as it takes on the shuttle too. Like yeah. It's, it's so if you're gonna go to if you're gonna go to Springdale. Yeah. Get an e-bike specifically from Greater Zion e-bikes. Oh. Uh, Greater Zion e-bikes. Yeah, no, right? that's Greater Zion e-bikes. So yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> we only have 19 followers. So <laughs> yeah, go just, ahead and run that up. We just but our, today. our first post has how many posted that? Or how many views? And it, 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 it was over 8,000. My phone's not. Here. I got it. It was over 8,000, and we had no followers um, when the post went up. Yeah, and so it's great growth for Vibrant today. What's cool about it too is that your views are instructed on your e-bike. You know what I mean? When you're yeah. in the shuttle, you no, know, that's the best part. And that right? was the thing, like yesterday. And you guys stopped. I've done it. So I've done it on a pedal bike. I've done it on a pedal bike. Okay, so that post has eight thousand four hundred and twenty-two likes. Or, I'm sorry, eight thousand four hundred twenty-two <laughs> views. Uh, three hundred and let me get that. Three hundred and ninety-two likes. And that's with zero followers to start the day. Yeah, that's we can zero we can also play this video on the side of yeah the we'll, podcast. We'll we can throw it up. Yeah, um, it's being, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous and. Like you just said, it's totally unobstructed. Um, anyways, go check that out. That's really cool. But the the whole purpose of this conversation is like, that's my job. Like I, I, you know, I got to go and experience something that people do or like people save up for a full year to come. And yeah, like that's their dream. That's their dream. Yeah, that's their dream. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. We get to go to Zion. Yeah. I'll never forget getting out of a plane in Ethiopia and there was a visit Utah banner outside of the plane. That's wild. It was amazing. Well, like, yeah, people, people saved their yeah. whole life to do exactly what you got to do. What I basically two days in a row. Two days in a row. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. So to, to preface this, I go to Springdale yesterday. 
I shoot content all day. I stay in bungalows, absolutely incredible. As soon as that launches, everybody needs to be in there. It's wonderful. Um, so I stay at bungalows. And then well, today, don't forget Flanagan's. The Flanagan's is oh a marketing client yeah. of ours. Wow. They've got the number one restaurant in in Springdale. It's called Spotted. Uh, they got the only sommelier in all, I believe, all of Washington. We County. didn't even take advantage of the sommelier. We and screwed that up. their food is unreal. And you guys got the yeah. whole marketing team got to go have a dinner there last night just to make content. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And the food was amazing too. I've been, but that was Kyle's first time. I, you know, I've never been. Are you, have you really not? Yeah, no, no. Oh man, Kate, plug your ears. <coughs> yeah, Kate. Yeah. We need to get this <coughs> Kate, those comp cards, bro. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just always grinding, you know. So it's like, yeah, like, right. Oh, yeah, somebody's got to work. It's like a. It's yeah, like, we're just never there. The thing is, it's like it's a rising grind situation, and so the cool part about that though was like we were up there as a marketing team. We got to have a marketing meeting in one of our properties. Yeah. We got to go to a meeting with a Hilton or a Hilton property. Yeah. And then we got to go with a marketing client to their restaurant and they yeah. treated us to this beautiful. Oh my, it was, it was awesome. Incredible. Was I had an ahi tuna, if you haven't been. It was not. Kyle's first ahi tuna. My we first ahi tuna, tuna and it was so good. It was phenomenal. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Spencer, I go, is it, like the, is it like the stuff that comes in the can? Yeah, no, you didn't. No, you really did. Yeah, it's like partially did. massive, I'm but also so like I like. We're gonna, gonna like. Tuna. We're gonna edit. That we're reading the menu, and I was like, "Dude, have you ever had ahi tuna?" He's like, "No." It's like stuff comes out of the can. He's like, "No, stuff out of the can is disgusting." It's a big, beautiful. This is where it's. It basically looked like a steak. It was yeah, like it was, yeah. it was ahi tuna but oh. seared. And they seared tuna, it. Oh, yeah. oh, tuna is yeah. the best, man. And they put like some seasoning. Yeah. Also, I am a, a Moscow. I would consider myself a Moscow mule um, aficionado. Yeah, thank you. We know that. Yeah, we did know that. Sometimes we finish. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that. That's crazy. I was gonna say Savon, so I'm glad that I didn't participate. Yeah, maybe don't. Maybe well, stay in your right. Right. Mark stay in your right. Third just spilled it. So. It, their Moscow was were great. Their bartender was wonderful. I don't know her, uh, their name, but they're wonderful. Yeah, it was all right. Um, also, rumor has it the best old fashioned in Utah. Yeah, it was really good. No shit. I I am also an old fashioned official. Really good. Yeah. I I've Fantastic. heard much grander words from you. Much grander. Much grander. Uh, I mean, it, it, big, uh, bigger than large. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good, and I am picky about my old fashions too. Like I've sent old fashions back, even in Vegas. Sometimes they're just shit, but these ones are so good. I was disappointed though because they brought in like almost like a jar-looking glass. That's not how you serve old fashioned, but the taste was good. I did like the taste. So I'm I love my Moscow. This is a great I do not know this guy. And this is perfect. Just to just to circle us back. Oh, is it I don't actually about? know where we started. We're here now. I can't remember the starting point, but you were talking about. Oh, yeah, we're oh, we're now. yeah. This oh. is podcast. No, we're just talking. Yeah, it gets basically that's what it is. <laughs> so we talked about how we were talking about your hospitality guild. Yeah. And so, what in that moment made you think like, oh, I, I want to join this? Team. Yeah, we really got that far off track. Yeah, no, we. That's did. incredible. We did, but it's all that. All good conversation. Yeah, no, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, running that question back. For me. So, if you can, because this is a while ago, right? So, but if you can put yourself back to that time when you were in that room, just as an SU student, yeah. no relation to us whatsoever, what made you decide, like, man, this is where I want to go spend my time? To vibrant specifically. No, to be honest, nothing. To be totally honest, like I didn't. It was like this is really wait. Are you talking about when the guild came or when when you guys bought our properties doing the tour and you decided <laughs> Yeah, the, the guild, not the guild. The disappointment in Cody's face when I said nothing. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised here. I was like, that's not the story you told me. I was about to just so hit sorry. the volume on the mic and reset and we're gonna re we're gonna reset. Yeah, right, yeah. No, no, this is great. Okay. Uh, Hospitality. I, this is how my brain works. Um, I wouldn't have any other way to be honest. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm glad. Uh, at the guild, no, you guys told me like we did this today, we did this yesterday, we are going to do this tomorrow. You know, like, so the variety is the variety is what got me. Um, what I needed an internship. I didn't know that I was going to love it as much as I do. That's actually something we didn't talk about. Emory, we should talk about now. So at Southern University, if you're in the hospitality program, you have to have so many hours of internship within hospitality in order to get your degree. This is how good of a student that I am. I am currently, you know, done with my internship, doing my work hours. I don't know how many hours I'm supposed to be doing. I think I've done it. I think well, it's only how many hours you need. I'll talk to you. I was going to say, bring the slip, but it's signed. For people <laughs> inside of the industry who are looking for employees, most likely the hospitality programs in your areas have a similar requirement. And yeah. so it's like you, like you and Emery, there literally isn't a better 
a better set of individuals to bring into your organization because one, you guys have to do it, and two, you want to do it. Right? Yeah. Like you're obligated right. for your degree to come do that work, and it's the work you aspire to do. So there's not a better audience of people yeah. that you could pursue. Right? Well, I, I, and I, a management, management company is a great place to do it too, instead of just like we get way more writing. So much more writing. Great. Yeah, because the other time. options, the other options for me in my case were hotel staff. Yeah, go be yeah. go be the night auditor at. Best oh, that's yeah. in Cedar oh, City. Right. Like yeah. for me, <laughs> that's gonna drive me up a wall. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that time. So Brian, okay. you're like, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. And then when when Brett asked, he he was literally going around the room and said, like, what do you guys want to do? And after just listening to you guys, I was like, this is one. Like you can tell, I. You guys all have character. You guys were all different. You all had fun. It, gets, it seemed very much like that. One of you probably said, "Shit, fuck." Well, we were in class, you know. Just I think that was the, very was the first, first person to drop an F bomb on the podcast. I think that was I'm sorry, money was on me, uh, but Kyle won. Congrats, Kyle. Wait, no, no, we got to review. Give the it tape. up for Kyle. Out of boy, Kyle. Your boy. I think. Well, in, in my defense, one of you said it first. No, I don't think we said it on the podcast. Oh yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, you never like know. in general in life, perhaps. Oh, that's probably true. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a little older than you. Just a little I probably said it for you. <laughs> Anyways, family, I'm sorry. Thank you for listening. Um, so yeah, one of you guys, like, I, it just it was a very relaxed, very fun environment, and that was exactly what I needed as like, the person that I am, and I knew that. So when he asked, "What do you want to do?" Somebody said, "I want to manage a hotel." Somebody else said, "I want to manage a restaurant," and I made eye contact with Breck, and he said, "What do you want to do?" And I said. I want to do this. Like, I want to do what you guys do. And then after, I immediately came up and was like, hi, I'm Kyle, and I want to do what you want to do. And then after that, I came up again and was like, hey, how do I do what you do? Yeah, <laughs> right. Funny story, we're, we're sitting in the office one day, and Brett goes, dude, whatever happened to that Kyle guy? We got to hire him. I said, yeah, no, I know. I hired him. He starts tomorrow. He's like, oh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, it's done. So, and then I, yeah, I showed up to the office, and... Okay, so let's go. So now you're with us, um, and your growth has been awesome. I mean, to see that's your, good to hear. To I've see, not heard that yet. So to, to see <laughs> to see your growth, and because we, even when you started, right, just sim- similar to Emery, it's like when you come in as an intern, it's like, all right, well, there's a whole variety of things you can do. Yeah, we're like, let's just see where the chips fall, right? Yeah. And and there is no guarantee of a position after the fact. It's just like you're an intern yeah. for now. And when it's all said and done, we'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. See what we're and then so you ended up being able to stay with us and work. You work remotely through school. Super and I even got to us in the office, which has been amazing. And you can, I mean, if you just went back and looked at all of our social media, you would see the growth, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, today, your Vibrant post got 850 plus likes. The Vibrant got 13. No, no, likes. Got over 850 oh, yeah, likes. Yeah, I got a lot That's of likes. That may yeah. be as many likes as our entire history prior to that. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's yeah. probably Truth be told. more than all of that. Truth be told, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, Just so go. the progression of of you has been phenomenal to watch. It's really exciting to see. And um, so, what I think would be interesting to sit to talk about now is like you came in not knowing us, not necessarily knowing what we do. So, what was the most surprising takeaway that you had in that first summer as an intern? Mm. I have a question for you after this too. And for the audience, these are all off the cuff, so you didn't have time. What's the most surprising thing? Yeah, what was the thing that when the summer was over, like, wow, this was like, this was eye opening, or this was interesting, this was intriguing. I never expected this. Here's what it is. What are the I think, what are those I unknowns? Got you, I, got you. Um, I think for me, like, I didn't realize I've had fun jobs, mm-hmm. right? Like, I, I worked ski shops most of my life. And a bartender. I worked, I'm a bartender. You know, I've, I've all had social jobs. I've had yeah. fun social jobs. I didn't know work could be like rewarded, and I don't mean that like a oh it's so rewarding. Like I genuinely mean that. Like I go home and I feel good about the way I'm spending my time. That's it, absolutely. Because it feels yeah. productive. That's a pretty profound answer. Because it feels yeah. productive. Yeah. And it, it feels is. yeah it feels like I'm doing something. You also learn too. Like it's like just bettering yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it. Yeah, there's no like, like I've worked a lot of fun jobs. I I worked as you know, a rack shop manager. Jobs. I I that's all I do. I, yeah. like I refuse to work not fun jobs. Yeah. Kind of but to be rewarded be for that as well was was a game changer. And that's yeah. why at the end of the summer I was like, hey, I want to keep doing this. That's a that's a dope answer. What you had a question for him? Um, yeah. So 
you asked about the things that you didn't expect. So today we had a post that hit 13,000 views. We had uh, one, the same one do over 800 likes. How can, and we're doing this for all of our properties, right? So, yeah. um, and the companies that we manage, and they're getting crazy views and results as well. If you were to open a property tomorrow, regardless of location, what's the first thing that you would do on your Instagram or just your social media in general? Cool. Like you own the results. Post, I think here's the first thing that I would do is post. Because here's the thing with Instagram right now, it does not matter what you're putting up. Obviously, make it on brand, make it for sure. you, make it your property. But to your point, you posted two amazing videos today and on two different socials. One got 13,000, one got 8,000. The videos are almost the same. So it's like you just right. never know where Instagram is. So, gonna take so it. Right. as example, um, as an example, like in the case of just posting, so we managed this wonderful property called Flanagan's. Um, I neglected to post because I was nervous to jump into that sphere. I was nervous to jump into their followers. I was nervous to to, to take charge of that account. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pull up their Instagram right now so we can talk more about Yeah, that. I was nervous to take charge of that account. The second I did, it performed. And it's not a fact, it's not the fact of like, and it was it was performing well before. But my fear was that I would jump in and it would not do as well. Yeah, right. And then I think the first wheel, wheel I think that the first reel we took did. It has like three thousand five hundred likes. Yeah, or I'm no, sorry, views. Which you know yeah. isn't in, like crazy, but it was the most. But it's done. more than they'd ever had in their post. And not and not now. to not to knock anything because like it was all good stuff. Yeah, and, and but it wasn't their brand like. And it's okay, we can say that. Yeah. But like, it's it, a- It felt off brand and I didn't want to jump in on that. What is this, a seven second video and it has 173 likes, 32 comments, and 3,543 views. Yeah, and I don't, I don't say this in the sense of like, look at me, you know? But in, this, in the sense of like, just get in there and do it. On a scale from one to 10, like effort wise. It takes zero effort. Yeah. I it really does. Like posting on, posting on social media takes zero effort. I ripped six posts in the time from from like 9 a.m. till 11 30 when I left the office yeah I think I put up like six posts and all of them performed wonderfully and I you know I went into my phone picked a song <laughs> yeah. mm, I like this video mm, that one doesn't go uh, okay, that one's great. I like that one. Bang. Type out a caption. Right. Send it. And it, like, it really doesn't, like, don't like, fire me because it, it takes a lot of work. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it takes work. No, but in the, in the end, like, it really is effortless. And yeah. if you're opening a property today. Well, I think what you're even saying when you say effortless, it, it's more of it's skillless. Because it's not a skill to do it. You just have to do it. You have right. to do it. So yeah. it's really important to do it than even to do it well, because if you're doing nothing, if you're waiting to be good, that's like yeah. saying, I'll go to the gym when I'm fit. It's, just, it's a matter of discipline, like you just have to make time. You have to well, and now. even today, so we went to our property in Mesquite Highland uh, Estates Resort, and we their pool is amazing, and so that's where we wanted to get so our content. Nice. So we probably spent like an hour in their pool area, and we had enough content now to cover us for almost like the next month of posting. Yeah, right. right? So for sure. And, and we had a good time while we're doing it. I think the thing is, is that if you're doing work right, then it's not work. Yeah, like yeah. I'm well, and that's what everybody says, right? Like, do something you love, and you never work there in your life. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think well, any five of us went to Mesquite today. I don't imagine anyone left today being like, "Man, that." What a waste of time! Yeah, yeah. That, no, no, I just definitely did not. Yeah, I mean, for those that are even watching on the video, like my hair is still a little messed I, up we're, because we were just in the pool an hour and a half ago, yeah. and take recording content, but all at the same time, like we were building up a team. I mean, it's the best thing that you can yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. The other thing too that we talked about on our last podcast episode with Emery is just like how Europeans aren't back yet. The euro and the dollar it's a are whole together. Whole new world this year. It's crazy because well, even and COVID I, is like it's COVID, its yeah. course, right? If so. COVID ran its we're gonna have to look into that. Do you know where we're at though? So we can maybe bump back to. Uh, it. Let's just say this: in the event, well, shit. You know what I just realized. It's fine. We're we just, we just yeah. We're dice well, and also, if you're listening to the podcast and you just heard us fucking about, that's uh, our camera cut out. So here's the here's the important thing, though, right? Is that we don't know what we're doing first and foremost, but we're doing it. That's what's more important. And that's right? what and that's what I'm trying to get to with Instagram, right? Like, 
it's a week. That's all that matters. It's, that that all, it's all that matters. Like yeah. as long as you're like, if you're scared to get into social media, do it. What was that Gary Vee thing we were listening to in our office? Gary Vee said, what did he say? and I quote, and this is crazy, but I mean, it's I'm not going to quote him because I don't know the exact numbers, but essentially it was, you should be creating seven, you should be posting seven to 27, or nine, nine, yeah, 21, yeah, that, seven to 21 or 20, so I think it was, it was in the okay. 20s for sure. So Gary, Gary Vee, who has done wonders on social media and all that stuff, you should be posting seven to 27 times across three to nine platforms every day now that being said as someone who is only you know if you're building your personal brand run that up do whatever it is if, if you want to be a hotel you want to be podcasters you want to be whatever it is yeah, that you're right. doing let people know because there's no other way for people to know like we're going to take this give them the most chance I'm gonna, to this right here this right here I'm going to chop this up and it is going to go on Instagram as a reel. And YouTube Shorts and TikTok. No, I'm, I'm telling them right now. Like, this yeah. is going on TikTok. Or, no, not on TikTok. Well, I could go on TikTok too. This is going on Instagram as a reel. So when you guys see this, go check out the podcast. Well, and I think, to, so if you're on the podcast, you can't see us. What just happened is, so this is funny. So last, we were using a camera about my life 10 years ago. Yeah, right. Last week to record our our YouTube video, yep. and turns out as a match before the limit of 12 minutes, and our podcast for about an hour. Damn it. And <laughs> so, so we only had 12 minutes of video. So then we thought, you know what? We're, we're committed. We're going to buy a new camera. So today, uh, Spencer here went to an establishment and purchased himself a very nice, and quite expensive camera, so we wouldn't have a recording limit. Well, just recently, uh, Hal started looking at the That's camera, about three ago. <laughs> and I thought to myself, "You were here for it." Why is he looking at That's the camera so intently? And sure enough, this camera also stopped recording. About and so, limit. so if yeah, you're listening on we can fix that. the podcast and you're wondering yeah. why did it get so weird, it's because we tried to fix that. So we're re-recording now, um, and we'll just splice it together as one. But if you're listening to the podcast, I don't even think we change it. I think you leave it genuine because these are the struggles yeah, of right. trying to figure it out. But I think you're better to try and figure it out and have a blunder than to say we're not going to do it until it's perfect. Shit happens. Let me. Where's? Oh, I'm gonna, will you grab my phone, Spencer? Yeah, is it the one? Just it's on the, the one. Floor? Just the alley left on the floor. Oh, Thank nice. you, Ali. Um, thanks, man. Yeah, I was doing some. Uh, you guys can see it on our social media. I was doing some. Yeah, check behind the scenes stuff. Check it us. Check us out. Team. At the vibrant team on Instagram. Um, let's go through vibrant real quick, just to give you guys a uh, a look into the blunders. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll pull this up. And blunders are okay. That's blunders are totally fine. I'd rather have, have a blunder a than have no content. I have a reel right here that I took, that I put on Cliff Rose, which is one of our properties, a beautiful property, it's a Curio by Hilton. Um, I have a post that we put on Cliff Rose that did phenomenal, I think we hit, you know. Over 10K. I think it was 10K, easy, yeah. yeah. Um, it did phenomenal on, on Cliff Rose. Oh, we put it on our Instagram, it hit 145 views <laughs> and 18 likes. Oh next, post, next post, 3,000 views, 121 likes. Make sure that's muted. Uh, next, <laughs> next video, six hundred. Next video, eight hundred. Next video, a thousand. Next video of a damn puppy who looks incredible, and you guys should go look. Yeah, very one. handsome. Five hundred views, thirty-one likes. Next video, it's my feet. Well, I, not in that. One. It starts with your feet. It, though. It's me walking on some red dirt, and then I pan to our beautiful Flanagan's property. And that video did 9K. That one was crazy. And wild. I got almost 300 messages. likes. I got so many messages about that video. Well, here's and it's then, crazy. And the next video did four. We're at 14.2, by the way. Dude. I just saw. I that. don't know if you guys. Wow. Yeah. So huge, yeah. that video that we were talking about earlier, 13K. That's so we went up from a thousand just from the time that we've been watching this or making. Yeah. Uh, Essentially, I don't know that we checked at the beginning, but since the beginning of the no, day, I did. I, I did was going to say I looked too. Yeah. It was 13.4. Yeah. I have a sort of podcast. Yeah. So we've been up at that one. That is just absolutely insane. For those of you curious, that is the beautiful dog in the background. Yeah, if you, if you can bark, hear that bark, that's, that's also him. the beautiful dog in the Vibrant Team video. Um, anyways, and then the next post after that has, so we did 14.2 thousand and then 1300. So, and I actually like the 1300, the 1300 view photo, video, real. It's I like cool. better. Yeah, it's cool. So what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter what you're doing, just do it. Take as many shots as possible. Take as yeah, yeah correct. 
What do they say? You miss all the shots you don't take. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, yeah. what a great quote. Um, anyway, so get out there and post it. Who cares? I, also, is it Michael Jordan that said that, or is it Wayne Gretzky? It's Wayne Gretzky. Ooh. It's from the office because it says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne, Wayne Gretzky, Gretzky Michael, Michael Scott. Let's look it up really quick. Who said you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Oh, it just is not even an audio about it. Yeah, Siri. Siri. What's what Siri saying? Uh, Ritu Basim. That's 2021, though. I don't believe that. Uh, Wayne Gretzky missed 100% of the shots. Shoot, hey, look at that. Spencer coming in with the facts. Oh, man. I knew it was either Michael Jordan or Michael Scott. That's Anyways, the moral the moral of this long, <laughs> this prolonged it was, it's is just it's die time. The, yeah. the moral of this is post. Because that's all that matters. In the end, like you you miss 100% of the shots you don't take if you're not posting every day or every other day, or if you're not consistent. You need to be consistent. If you're not, if you post once every you know six months, yeah, right. where's the growth going to come from? What do you think about like if someone says, Let's say new property is like, I want to be on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. What else is out there? YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts. Yeah. Like what, like what's your recommendation? Um, now, I'm, I'm not officially a social media expert, but I am of, yeah. I'm technically a millennial. I'm like, I'm like Cusper. Is that what they're called? Yeah, you're right. Are, are you? I'm on the cusp. I'm 96. I know I'm right on the cusp, and I'm 95. Yeah, I mean, same thing. You might as well be a millennial, though. Yeah, basically. Yeah. You are. I think I am technically a millennial. Anyways, I don't know what the years are. Moral of the story. Oh, um, if you can do it correctly and you can do it consistently, get on everything. Yeah. You see Wendy's, and if Wendy's you, right? If you can, you say choose one. No. I, I, I don't know. No, like, if you, I, obviously, if there's a choice of yes or no, go yes. I still think no. like the answer is all of them because like even the reason we're doing this is because we went to grow the video and Sean gets absolutely destroyed on LinkedIn. We yeah. love you, Sean. Yeah, yeah Sean, Sean, we love you. We're, we're, it's, <laughs> not, it's not a personal thing. It like, just, it's just like, what happens. Like you grow a video, but I'm just saying like your LinkedIn likes are low. Like, <laughs> it's just us. The, it is mostly, it is Cody and I. <laughs> <laughs> Cody and I are I throw, I throw like it occasionally. But, right, and I think my best post ever on LinkedIn has like, I don't know. But, 128 likes, but and I think Sean's is like eight, and Sean's a king. But the beauty so, of this, yeah, yeah the beauty of this is that Sean is Sean, Sean there right, right now. The beauty he's doing this. it. Sean is he's doing he's it consistently. Doing. Check he's it consistent. Sean, Sean every, every, we have a notification. Look at this. Con, Sean's right at the top. I literally just opened LinkedIn and look who so liked it. Yeah. So here's the thing. Sean, I hope you're listening. And obviously you will be because um, just post what did you say last time? Or you guys are going to be speaking at? Yeah, we're either going to be on a panel or a keynote growth video 2023. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not a big and deal. today is July twenty first of twenty twenty. The moral, the moral of this story. We've been calling it since we were there last year. Yeah. The yeah. moral of this story is that Sean is doing it no matter what. Right. He's not getting great interaction. Yeah, and he's, he's not, not allowing not a lack of. But in five stop. years, he'll be psyched about it because the exactly. platform will have evolved and he probably will be. And he'll have taken it off. And that's what's are, important is that you're consistent no matter what it is, even if you get just eaten alive. Yeah. Right. Well, and I mean, even for us, it's like our podcast is blown up, our YouTube videos are blown up. We just know. No, what do we have? Start. Tens of tens of yeah, viewers. Yeah, right now we're kind of crushing in tens of tens. But, <laughs> there were, but I think what was super valuable about our video that one guy talked and he showed his YouTube like uh, subscribers. To Alex. And, and I can't remember. No, it wasn't Alex. It was some other guy. And he started with like ten. And then oh, he had like ninety. This is the guy who did the trading cards. Yeah, and yeah, then he had like good. like one hundred and eighty, and then he had like four thousand. Yeah. And now he's got you know. Who knows? Multiple thousands upon yeah. thousands. But that's how it starts, right? Like the one thing that's unique about any platform is we all start at zero. Yeah. It doesn't. I, Am and Gary started at zero. They had zero yeah. followers when they right. started their Instagram. Yeah. You know, we all start. The Reg called them. Started at zero followers. We all started yeah. at zero. So we all start from the same place. And and if and I think this is a Gary Vee thing, right? If what we're saying is relevant, people are going to find it. Right. Well, I love what he says because he's like, the algorithm's not broken. Your content is shit. Yeah, your content is <laughs> shit. Yeah. And so, if and that's we what produce good content, we're seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's good, now regardless of what we believe to be good or not. Yeah, I thought the puppy video was great. Apparently, so society did not. Yeah, they yeah. don't. Not that's okay. And it's not and the that, algorithm. And here's, you know, the thing, funny? here's the thing: is you can't take that personally either. Yeah. No. Right. Because you just people make, have you can't stop because of it. Can't. Right. Exactly. That's what a lot of people do. So you did the puppy video on dwellings, and it got like no puppy did hit you on Oh, you did. No, you did. You also did on dwellings, but then shortly after you did the puppy in the water, 
with live yeah. on the swing. Yeah, go wheels. Right this now. is just what happens when you so post so much. Oh yeah, it rips. Okay, so, okay, so the puppy didn't have any. So moves. I posted a video of Cody and his daughter live, and then the puppy in the water. This is on a swing, a rope swing over a creek. Absolutely gorgeous. Check out the dwellings.co on Instagram as well. Um, Ten point two thousand. And the next one. And the, the next puppy. one of the puppy, which I also posted on Vibrant. Uh, that video had 879. Yeah, so 10,000 to likes. 800. And then you did the that's, one of you. That's 295 likes, and the next one is 39 likes. Well, and, and then the next one is, you know, 3K. So yeah, it's, right. you, it, it doesn't matter. You just got to keep going. You just have to keep going. And I think, so, so back to, you asked me, should you run every account? The answer to that is yes, and Pick which account is going to do what for you. Our TikTok. Hey guys, we yeah. have phones. I'm trying to hang out. I was I'm going to pull up the data. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so our TikTok is vibrant, being vibrant, just mm -hmm. doing vibrant things. We're a pretty rowdy bunch. We have a lot of fun. Um, our that's TikTok well is. Huh? I said that's well said. Oh yeah, I, we have a lot of fun. Um, our TikTok is vibrant, being vibrant. Our Instagram is vibrant, being vibrant at work. Correct. And then. Our, our YouTube is this, yeah. Or podcast or this. Um, it's all different. And if we had a Twitter, it'd be funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so we would absolutely roast people. Since we're talking about the dwelling, so we officially jumped on our social media a month ago, and since then our reach is up five thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven percent. Our accounts reached that's that number. Our accounts engaged are up nine thousand eight hundred and twenty percent. You know what I'm doing. And what that really is a reflection of is the reels. Absolutely. Because Instagram is in a battle with oh, TikTok, TikTok for su supremacy, right? Yeah. And so they're pushing out the similar content, which is reels. And so I think you just have to know they're shoving what's, video content. What's in demand, crazy. and that's what they want. And so yeah. obviously, when a post of ours does fourteen thousand views today. It's because it made it on the discovery page, and you got to produce what people want. So one of the right before we took over the dwellings, which is an incredible property in Roberta, I'm sure plug a lot of properties because they're absolutely phenomenal. We, we don't have bad properties. No, we literally don't have any bad properties. Um, the right before we took over, their last post was March fifteenth, twenty twenty one, and it did well. But the fact that in the last thirty days we grew. 30 days, we grew, um, accounts engaged, yeah, 9,000%. We hit 9,000% more than we did in the last in the last, in the last year, dude. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and for anyone this was, listening This is this. May 2021. For anyone listening to this, too, like, March the ideas that we're getting. This is over a year ago. That's wild. I think. I'm not a math guy. Yeah. Yeah, you carry the two. Yeah, yeah it is worth getting. It's just like, aren't you just like Googling ideas? Like, what should I post on a reel? No, like, I just, I just sit on my phone and I go, reels, 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 reels. Oh, this one be oh cool. I like this one. Yeah, right. Bang. Yeah. Let's do something similar or same. It's perfect. And go from there. Or, you know, sometimes you're out and you get the perfect shot and you're excited about it. Yeah, right. Like if you went to the Vibrant team on Instagram and looked at our recent bike video. Yeah. In, oh, we'll just put it on the screen. Yeah. Um, for those of you watching, for those of you listening, go to the Vibrant team. Yeah, right. Anyways, you can just like, sometimes it just happens, but you sh if you, sorry, there's just a hair on this mic that's been driving me wild. He already said his ADD, so that's all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all me. Um, yeah, it's just like a personal yeah. thing, you don't need to worry about it. Mads are wearing off. <laughs> no meds, med free. Med free since 93. <laughs> Probably should be. Um, yeah, man. Really, the bottom line is get out and post. Damn it! Yeah. Like, why? Like, if you are trying to run a property, oh, real, real. if you are trying to run a property, and you are not posting consistently, and I mean this on all platforms, if you are not running your Google ads up, you are not running. And this is something I'm wherever you are, yeah, yeah, right. wherever you're, whatever you're doing, do it well. Do it consistently. Do it consistently. Yeah, yeah be disciplined. Don't do it well. Do it consistently. Yeah, that's that's, that's what matters. Than even the quality. You don't need to do it well. Gary V says that every day. Yeah. Not to just like, you know, Gary, if you're listening, we, we love you. We talked about it last oh, week yeah. uh, oh, with Emery because at Growth Video, these guys were spending up to $45,000 a month on developing content. They're like, man, sometimes like, I have all this professional equipment and like mm -hmm. videographers and the whole thing, but sometimes I just grab my phone and rip a video in my kitchen. It's the engagement's better. So it's like, <laughs> the amount is, of 
no rhyme or reason. The amount of That's technology why the power off do of this thing is crazy. The amount of technology in our hand is what, what are, somebody, I don't know if you said it, somebody said it the other day. Oh, he sent you the moon. More than what we sent people the moon on. That is the truth, yeah. There's Which more is power crazy. in here than, than what the moon And now. also what's funny well, is we've done three videos now. We did one on Spencer's iPhone. Perfect. We did one on a DSLR, 12 Shit. minutes. And we did one on a brand new Canon vlogging thing that we bought. And it cut us off halfway through. We are going to have to figure that out or return it. The only, <laughs> the only thing that's come through is the nice thing. Yeah, we might have yeah. switched back to the iPhone. Um, to be totally honest, we went and shot a month's worth of content today, and I used my phone the entire time. Didn't, I didn't, yeah, didn't use it. I'm about to sell yeah. my camera. Yeah, right. I don't care about it anymore. Like, I have a. Which, you know, uh, my film friends and my, you know, the, the creator friends of mine are going to cringe at that. But, like, I truly don't use anything else other than my phone. It's not as convenient, it's not as easy. But here's the beauty is everybody has their phone, use it. It doesn't make sense for you to just be sitting And it doesn't on. have to be the brand new iPhone. No matter what you've got, No, it's good literally it doesn't. Before, I, I got a new phone because my phone was a, it was and this is the phone I ran for a whole year. Oh, uh, no, I ran it for three years. I ran, and then, uh, but I was running social media that whole time, too. Yeah, on it. I got a new phone because I wanted, because I was running social media at school. I've been doing social media. Um, and, <clears throat> moral of the story is, use what you got and be consistent with it, because that's all that matters. Yeah, I was going to say, we're running on low battery for the laptop and microphone, too, and we've been pushing this for over an hour. Or over an hour. Okay, let's end here. Why don't you guys just be consistent? Here's all I want. End. That's just all I want. win the social media. We're yeah. gonna end with this. Favorite place you've ever been. Okay. Place you want to go. Favorite place I've ever been. I spent a lot of time growing up on Catalina. Um, I love it. My grandpa actually graduated from Avalon High. I spent a ton of time there growing up, and it is it has a special place in my heart. Um, so that's favorite place I've ever been. Um, place I want to go. Bucket list. Ooh. I would say, oh, it's kind of like a, a weird one, but British Columbia, oh, it's like it's best. super attainable. So we have a client like, there who like wants us to come visit. Bucket list thing, but like, but like skiing. I want to go skiing in BC. So if anybody's watching this and likes me, can we please, can you take me skiing? And you'll produce content. I'll produce content for you all day. And I dare say I'm a bit of a ripper. So let's go, let's go, uh, let's go ski, please. Okay. All right. Well, hey, that wraps us up. Episode three, uh, Virtual GM Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And those of you that were watching and saw our blunders, and, you know, that's just good for you. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah. At least Appreciate we're trying, you. you know. Episode four will be better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Episode four will be better. Yeah. Yeah. We're learning. We'll do episode four, same time next week. Thanks.